Hey there YouTube, I'm Ikitsu, this is the Ikitsu Times, welcome to my channel, welcome back to a little bit of Total War Warhammer 2. So, uh, I've gone ahead and taken over a lot of Nagarod, and the reason that I've done this uh, without showing you guys is because basically most of these places were uninhabited by uh, garrisons or armies or anything like that, so I basically just got to walk into these places for free. And done. since unfortunately I did have to fight a lot of these battles just because my units were getting stacked, uh, or sorry, my units were getting wiped out, uh, despite the fact that these un the these cities are so weak in uh, terms of their defense, because of that combination of things, I still had to fight the battle. So I really didn't want to show you guys all of those stupid little fights there. Um, we are about to take their capital, though, and while it is also undefended, um, I think I might show you guys me taking the capital city of Nagarond with its uh, very good upgrades and so on and so forth here. So this is going to be... A bit of an interesting uh, fight in the sense that it's historically important, but uh, I've gotten them when they've moved most of their units away from there. Now, the thing about this, though, is that they may very well have gone and um, made this place pretty difficult to fight just in terms of the natural garrison. If we take a look here, it's got things like Black Dragons, Bolt Throwers, Cold One Dread Knights, and stuff like that, but we've actually seen us... We, we've seen this fight before. We, we don't have to worry about this too much because of the composition here that we've got. Lots and lots and lots of archery. So we'll be able to just sort of stand outside the walls after we destroyed a couple of their barriers and we'll be able to start plugging them with arrows until they're all dead there. So um, I might not show the battle itself because it again is going to be just me rotating in and out with archers standing outside their buildings for like an hour or whatever. Um, we have got a slightly more interesting battle over here. I refuse this um, insolence. Marathi fighting uh, Tyrion, so his his great 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 aunt or something like that. Um, uh, I could actually just wait till this army got within reinforcement range, though. Uh, almost get the feeling like she might w not want to fight me if that happens, but um, let's go ahead and move you guys actually up to spite reach here. Oh, yeah, no, we still take attrition heading through here. Um, so yeah, that's going to be interesting. Uh, we got. A little bit of extra population here. I want to wait until we can get enough for this to go to the next level. And we can't build because we're under siege. But um, we have got actually the uh, walls in this city here. So Harganath, lots of archers um, in addition to the normal stuff there. Not really sure that's going to be enough to stop their more elite units. But we could potentially just go in and fight this. Um, I mean, Tyrion's army itself is not necessarily the best one I've ever had. But... Uh, that's perfectly fine. I did finally lose the Phoenix in that army, but it really wasn't that impressive. Uh, there were just a few armies, just with too many Blackguard, because they seem to be spamming those. Um, I wonder if they'll lose the ability to send those guys out after me if we take Nagarond. Either way, um, so yeah, like Venom Glade over here, we'll have to go fight this, but I probably can't auto-resolve, just because I'll get... Like, what tends to happen is that my Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers get stack wiped, even though uh, there's no reason why they should be um, from the balance power bar like this. So, uh, I haven't been showing you guys the battles for literally that reason, it's just because I have to fight them um, on the battle screen, which is annoying. Like, I, I appreciate that they want there to be some sort of sense of... I'm, I'm not even really sure why it's that bad, but uh, yeah, they definitely want you to fight the battles on the main battle screen there and not auto resolve everything. Uh, meanwhile, we're getting invaded by Undead over here. Uh, we're probably going to lose Port Elistor, which is annoying. Um, I'm not actually sure how they managed to sneak their way down there so quickly. Uh, we have got a bunch of armies that we're moving down to mobilize to help, but uh, now that um, Malkith has decided to bugger off, which is nice. The other problem, though, is that, uh, or the other thing I've got going is that I've decided to just mass recruit a gigantic army of Lothan Seaguard down here. Um, able to get that done pretty quickly. I think we'll actually go ahead and uh, supplement this. We'll add in a couple of units of uh, Silver Helms, and I might even just cap out the army here. Mm, can't quite afford to, so we'll just leave it as is. All right, so a billion heroes that we haven't moved because I've got a lot of heroes. I do think actually that uh, like previous games used to have caps for this sort of thing, but... Smash it to ruin. All right, grab more of that. This guy's got to be like pretty high level. I wonder if he's at a maximum level there. Um, I've got 15 Tyrion. turns here. I'm not too, too worried about Tyrion um, over here with his uh, garrison defense there. He's got a pretty good setup for that sort of thing, but in any event, let's go ahead and uh, do the important Princess. thing of taking up this uh, fortress here. 
Now the problem I've got right now is that it's going to be hard for me or impossible for me to actually uh, influence how the um, Lizardmen are doing their thing. So I have to figure out exactly how I'm going to deal with that later, but uh, yeah, I don't have an easy answer for that. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this onto the battlefield and I will see you guys there. Alright, and here we are. So Nagarond itself has a kind of interesting layout, but um, there is a bit of a weakness to this stupid place because the developers probably need to actually really increase the arc of fire for towers. So there's actually a spot where I can set up my uh, dudes where they're not going to be getting hit by this tower and they're not going to be getting hit by this tower. And if I set them up just right here, I'll be able to sort of move my stuff such that we're able to uh, avoid fire from both those things. Now, where the hell is our deployment line? It's like back here or something like that. Yeah, so we just have to be deployed like over here-ish. And then we'll go ahead and destroy this tower and destroy this tower. And if we can do that, we'll be able to sort of probably deal with this just fine. Now, I am not 100% sure if I'm out of the way of that one. Um, like, the area of fire for these things is quite narrow, but it's not quite that narrow. Um, so we want to just... I'm going to move these guys up front because I want them to gain experience. But, um, yeah, we just sort of move our units here um, and have them sort of bunched up. doesn't really matter if they're bunched up or not, as long as I get them out of the... Uh, crossfire for the towers and as long as that happens we'll be able to sort of stack up our units and eventually uh, we'll be able to sort of march up and fire along the walls with our arrows which is how we're gonna clean out the entire damn thing so um, should be out of range of uh, a radius of all of their towers at this uh, point here and yeah this is pretty much everybody all right so Actually, let's uh, make sure you're not turned on to fire will. Um, we want you guys to be firing at this one first. Ooh. We let's move over a tiny bit here. You can see those shots landing amongst us. So we, can, we can't we can see the uh, sort of radius of these shots before we uh, set up here, or before we hit uh, start. But once you do hit start, you can figure it out um, just by sort of mousing over. So, I'm going to go ahead and start hanging this away. Yeah, just had it slightly wrong here. We advance. Should be okay, though, at this point. Alright. Um, I'm not really sure what it the spell is. Lure of the Pale Queen cannot move. Okay, we're not taking damage, though. That's the important part. Uh, I'm guessing that's a bound spell of some sort that's uh, affecting that's us in some way or another, but I'm not going to worry about it too much since it doesn't appear to be a damage one. They have got a couple casters in there, but uh, I'm not too too worried about it. Right, I think we can just do an attack roll, uh, attack uh, order here. So we'll take out this one. If I don't do that, then we end up in a situation where they're, they've got this entire arc covered, so this area becomes untenable. Um, and we'll take out this one just because all their troops are sort of bunched up here, and I can stand directly in front of the wall and still uh, kill all their archers off. I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, fast forward button here, and I don't remember if I've got loose on this particular general, but I'm going to use uh, the aura here just in case I do. Actually, let's check. Do I have that? I have Frenzy, apparently. Um, martial Prowess, Mutant Psychology, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't think I've got the uh, missile um, rate of fire increase aura, but... That's fine. Now this tower's not actually occupied, but I, I would uh, rather destroy it just to make sure it doesn't get occupied later. Very real chance that it does just get occupied in a little bit once we uh, start attacking them. Although, realistically speaking, there is little that the AI does intelligently, and this is one of those cases where it does not do the smart thing. Um, just in the sense that the AI is very likely to think of this area as not being under attack while we're attacking this other side over here. So, since that's the case, it doesn't really matter too much, but Better safe than sorry. Um, it is definitely possible for them to just, just sort of suddenly pop some guys up there. <clears throat> okay. So first tower should be down pretty soon here. And we'll start working on a second tower. But once we take out this one tower, I can start working on uh, taking out the guys on their walls just to the right there a bit. I always wonder, they always seem to shoot, like, to the side of these things. Okay. Alright. 
So we're going to start moving these guys up here. Um, I'm going to move up one unit at a time, actually. Uh, and we're just going to move, like, here. Yeah, so that uh, tower is occupied, and we're just going to stand right between them, basically. Yeah, once this one goes down, we'll probably use the last bits of our ammunition to just take out guys on the wall here. Um, I'm hoping for a morale break against the enemy. If you cause enough damage um, without taking damage yourself, you can sometimes end up in a situation where the enemy's morale just breaks without them having uh, accomplished anything. Alright, so you up to here. Oh, shit. Okay, so uh, I just need to scour this unit off here. I don't have the ability to really fight this the way I wanted to. Um, so Shades actually have got sometimes enough range. Yeah, they've actually got more range than I do, so we're gonna just have to kill them really quickly here. Fortunate for me that they don't have very much armor or anything like that, so it's actually pretty easy to kill them. Um, so you can see that my concentrated of fire, like just return fire order, just immediately dissolves the unit, so um, pretty okay with that. And then we'll have to sort of focus fire down this other unit of shades with great swords. They're kind of behind the wall, but hopefully we'll be able to take it out anyway. Or take them out anyway. And uh, we should be done this tower pretty much now. Alright, we're going to switch our fire over to these guys. Alright, with the tower down, it's going to be a little bit easier for me to hit these guys with our archers. But, um, yeah, you can see that these guys are... Actually, no, I've got 15 more range than them. Okay, I thought I was looking at the wrong sort of uh, way around there. Okay. Um, right, so let's start bringing up a few more troops. Pretty sure that shades do have more range than regular crossbows, though. Let's just find out, actually range. Um, yeah, they've got a little bit more range than the uh, than the um, Dark Shards. Alright, out of ammo on one of our Eagle Claws, almost out of ammo on the other Eagle Claw. Yep, and there we go. Alright, that's fine though. I'm gonna switch fire over to these guys. I'm gonna fire at the um, Dark Shards from, or the uh, Shades from the front there. The reason that we're going to be confident doing that is, again, because of that extra little bit of range that we have compared to them. Hopefully we get a bit of a level here. I would love to get to gold uh, rating with these guys. Alright, let's move our general up. want her to be in support range. Uh, again, just for the aura effects there. Oh, shit. Okay, we need to kill these guys off fast-ish. Fastest. I just want to get this from a different angle here, because this is going to be a little bit more efficient. There we go. That's uh, taking them down real fast. Alright, one of our uh, one of our Lothan Seaguard, very tired and out of ammo, so that's all good. These shades with great swords, just about out of the fight here. I'm going to switch over a target to the Dark Shards over in a second. Yeah, they always have like uh, one or two guys just hiding behind that tower there. Which is why I hate these little tower bits that stop your fire from hitting accurately. Alright, let's get you guys just back here. Bring up two more units. Technically, as long as they can fire back, you should be able to land some hits on them, but as you can see, it is a horrific waste of arrows. Um, I probably should just be adjusting our angle a bit, but I really don't like doing that while we're under fire. Let's, let's do it, though. All right. 
we've lost a dude from this unit. Start firing these guys across here. Should be a little bit more effective. They're down to three now. Not sure why they're hanging on with those kinds of numbers either, though. Yeah, we're down to 65 guys here. They've actually killed a couple. The bastards. All right. You guys, let's have you move up as well. Honestly, it was those shades that had me a bit worried because I wasn't sure where they were going to pop up. And uh, yeah, they gave me a bit of a surprise there, in all honesty. Okay. Come on, just die already. I think some of these showers of arrows are coming in and literally getting zero hits. Alright, so I'm going to move you guys even more across here. And uh, I'm going to move a couple units across like this. Alright. The rest of you guys can all sort of clump up over here. Get in nice and close. The reason that we're firing sort of one unit at a time here is actually because if you fire units sort of one at a time, you get way, way more efficient uh, use of arrows. I think we just landed a hit on one of these guys here. So yeah, they're down to two guys. God damn it. All right, looks like we got an angle where we can hit them though. So we can actually switch over fire to this unit though and to this unit. Switch you to fire at them. Okay. Now, I really don't want to assault the walls too much. I don't want my units getting scoured too badly by the... Uh, bolt throws that they have, uh, since once I'm up on the walls, I've become pretty easy targets for those sorts of things as well. So we're going to try and avoid having that happen to us too badly. I'm kind of amazed at how much morale the uh, shades have. That's kind of impressive to me. I didn't think that they were that high leadership. Shows how much I know about shades, however. Um, okay, let's fire at these guys. <clears throat> Probably get a little bit more shot at by these uh, Shades with Greatswords, which are now at steady morale sudden, suddenly again, somehow. Great. Good job. Fantastic. Um, Alright. What about you guys? Are they firing back at us? No. Okay. Let's fire at this Death Hag. All right. I think part of it is because I would bet the Black Guard have like a um, inspiring aura as an elite unit sort of thing. I'm betting that's one of the things that's going on here. If they don't, I'll be quite surprised. All right. Both of you are out. I like to use the ones that are out of ammunition as sort of like assault waves that can sort of run in there and do their thing. Um, let's fire everything at the Death Hag for a second here. Do want to get rid of it. Their morale is going to be really good now because the uh, they're using their whatever Dark Elf ability. But um, More of my units out of ammo. That's my general this time. Oh, good. Um, Alright, just continue firing along the walls here. This stupid shade is soaking up so many of my shots. Alright.
I like how they keep retargeting him for some reason, too. I might be clicking, like, the wrong words to the wrong units, though, or something like that. It's probably the case. Anyway. That unit's dead. Okay. Start firing at these guys, get them done, um, dealt with. Start firing at you guys. Alright. I might not actually have enough um, missile fire to take out the stuff behind the walls that easily. So I might just want to rush the walls at this point in time, but again, I kind of don't want to, kind of do. Hmm. Oops. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here. Okay. I'm wondering, like, what is the way that we take out this stupid shade here? Ugh. Okay. You guys, let's head on up here. I've got about four units with ammunition, and we've just about fully cleared the walls. Very, very close to. Hmm. I think that's just this guy firing at us right now. Alright, so I think we take every unit that doesn't have any ammunition anymore. Just rush the walls here. I hope those other shades are... Doing their thing now, and I think we're also getting fired at by their artillery from back there. I'm not going to worry about that right now, though. Okay, I'm going to turn off fire at will for all of my units right now. Because we want to get up on the walls here pretty quickly. Um, those shades with great swords, though. Start firing at them. I think we might be able to wipe them out completely here. But we're just laddering up our way, our, our way up here. Yeah, they're gonna be able to deal some damage to me with those uh, artillery pieces. Uh, looks like they're off the um, towers though, so that's good. Do like that. I think we're just gonna rush the courtyard here. Oof. Yeah, that's a pretty bad hit. So, hmm. As you say, it will be done. All right. I think we've got enough mass here to do some problems, cause some problems. Just have to get to those bolts or shut them up and we'll be probably fine. I like how this uh, one guy's running the hell away from all this stuff here. There we go. So if we're really lucky, what we want is a morale break, but... That's what we're really hoping for here. Love and 
Alright, so I've ordered a whole bunch of my units to sort of swarm the courtyard here and get up to those Cold One Dread Knights. I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. Just takes a little bit longer to get down there. Um, might even get our general and stuff like that in on that fight. But, uh, yeah, I think we just storm, 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 storm. Alright. Next up, let's get these Lothred Seaguard up on the wall here, firing down with these uh, Cold One Knights. I like how these Cold One Knights are just like, ah shit, that's a lot of Spearmen, run away. They're actually trying to retreat from Spearmen. Um, okay, let's actually have you and you jump down there. Start fighting around down here as well. Hmm. I think this is fine, Ashley. Alright. So these Cold One Dread Knights are going to be doing a pretty good job here. It's just that they're fighting so many units that they're probably just going to die from attrition eventually. And we've finally gotten entangled into melee combat here. It looks like they're actually running away with their general. That's a mage, actually, now that I think about it. Alright, it's just a uh, crowd in on this dragon here. Oh, shit. This is not good. Um... Okay, so I want to get in and fight these guys melee. Understood. We will obey. Assyrian guides us. I want to get those Lothan Seaguard in there as fast as possible. More Lothan Seaguard in there. The other nice thing about Lothan Seaguard that I quite like is the fact that they do actually have a higher than uh, normal melee defense compared to other Spearmen, so half Spearmen, which is really quite good. Ah, uh, you guys. Come on. Melee mode, get in here. Need you guys to save our general, which I accidentally threw in without enough support. Fortunately, it looks like they are sort of avoiding fighting the hero and uh, general a little bit to fight the spearmen, but uh, we're still not in a great spot since we're not like we got those units sort of surrounded in a way that's not really ideal. Spell casting is just real annoying. All right. So the cold one dread knights though, been ground down. It looks like wavering finally. Going to have lost quite a lot of units here, but... Ooh, actually. Yeah, no, we're fine. Alright. That's going to be that. I uh, will see you guys on the campaign map. Alright, and that is... Taking the uh, capital of the Dark Elves. Let's see what level it stayed at. Uh, usually, they seem to, like, lose things. It looks like it only lost one level here, which is pretty decent. Uh, definitely going to want to upgrade the uh, that right away there. I don't necessarily know if I need the upgraded... Um, recruitment building, so we'll probably get rid of it. And, uh, yeah, we'll actually upgrade our food production production here, just because we want to sort of catch this area up uh, as much as possible. Actually, what can we build here? Occupied Black Tower of Malekith. Diplomatic Relations plus 30 with Dark Elves. That makes no sense. Public Order plus 10. Lord Recruit Rank plus 2. Faction-wide income from all buildings plus 2% all regions in this province. So that's going to be actually really good, but we can't build it with the slots that we currently have, so we have to wait till we get this to level 5. Another reason to rush that with the, the food production. Um, now, there are some armies puttering Short about sight. here. Um, let's go ahead and actually upgrade you. Might want to start getting things like horses Loyal and uh, dragons for this one, but do definitely want to get to favorable winds first. Um, and we're just about there. All I need is like one more, I think, in, in the... Uh, yeah, all I have to do is finish off the Militia Master here, and that'll get us to where we need to go. Alright, next level we'll be able to take the next uh, step of that, then after that the next step, and so on and so forth. I think we hold out here, um, just to use two armies to take out Marathi, or maybe try and force her to attack us um, in the siege itself, or lift the siege otherwise. Um, I'm going to fight this one out, of course, uh, but I'm not going to show you guys that one. That's going to be an easy crush. It's just that auto-resolve will screw me over otherwise. That'll guess the uh, province here. Um, 
I guess I'll show you guys a little bit of our defense in this area. I'm guessing that I'm going to get assaulted here next turn. Um, Port Elster does not have that good of defenses. Uh, in all honesty, yeah, our defenses will not hold this way too much undead. Um, so they've got quite a lot of things here, um, and not all of them are actually that weak. If we take a look at it, um, Port Elster's direct attacker here, these guys have got really good elites. The Grave Guard here are going to be way too tough for me to easily beat with uh, the garrison units that we've got there. Um, I have got some help coming in from the Illyrians, theoretically, but I'm not sure if they really will send any help or not, so uh, it doesn't matter too much. I've got two armies uh, swooping in from the north to help out with that. We've got our army that we're creating uh, over here ourselves, so hopefully that all works out okay. Uh, in the meantime, um, yeah, it's going to be a quick episode here. We're just going to continue sweeping through Dark Elf territories because they can't really stop us. The one issue is that they're... Uh, the Lizardmen are on their last uh, leg of their ritual, so there is a chance that they'll be able to do something um, to mess me up because I'll have to go deal with them basically, um, and I really don't want to have to divert attention to going and dealing with them, but if that's what we have to do, then that is what we will have to do. So anyway, I hope you found this episode enjoyable, and of course, as always, hope to see you guys all next time.